The sine rule is what we use when we don't have a right angle triangle and the four pieces of information that we have consist of two sides and two angles with one of these pieces of information being unknown. It is important to know how to label the sides of a triangle. In triangle ABC, side A is opposite angle A and side B is opposite angle B and side C is opposite angle C. The sine rule states that side A divided by sine angle A is equal to B divided by sine angle B and side C is equal which equals side C divided by sine angle C. The same is true for the size of an angle that sine angle A divided by side A will give you the same answer as sine angle B divided by sine B which will give you the same answer as sine angle C divided by side C. Let's look at an example. In example 1 here we can see we have four pieces of information two angles and two sides. Because of that we know we're going to use the sine rule. Side X is opposite angle 53 and 25 is opposite angle 48 degrees. Since we're asked to find the unknown side, we're going to use our side rule. Substituting what we know into the formula, we are going to have X over sine 53 is equal to 25 over sine 48. The next step of this equation is to bring sine 53 to the other side. So we're left with x is equal to 25 times sine 53 divided by sine 48. At this stage you just type that into your calculator and your answer will be 26 Point eight six dot 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 continues on. Correct two significant figures that gets rounded to twenty seven meters. If we look at a second example where we are asked to find the size of an angle, here we can see we have two pieces of information. Uh, sorry, four pieces of information, two angles, two sides. We can see that that tells us to use the sine rule. What we're going to have, because we are asked to use find an angle, we're going to have the unknown being on top, which will be our angle now. So we're going to have sine theta over 50 is equal to sine 27 over 32. Now we need to bring the 50 across. So sine theta is equal to 50 times sine 27. Now, like before, to get theta by itself, we need to use inverse sine. So sine, so inverse sine, which is shift sine, bracket, oh sorry, that's meant to be over 32, is equal to 50 times sine 27 over 32. Now we put that in on our calculator and our calculator will give us 45 degrees, 10 minutes and 58.37 seconds and rounded to the nearest minute becomes 45 degrees 11 minutes. So just recapping the sign rule, our unknown is always going to be on top of our fraction. We need four pieces of information and those four pieces of information are always two angles and two sides.